Hey everybody, uh, just thought I'd do a couple videos. It is really cold outside. Um, like, I accidentally keyed someone's car with my nipples by accident. Cold. Uh, but anyway, I figured with the storm, I'm not doing too much. I do a, a slight cold, as usual. Um, so I thought I'd show you my David Bowie collection. So start. Uh, Lodger. This is not actually a, uh, it's kind of sad, I think this is not a gatefold. But it is on uh, the green marbled vinyl. Hoping to get the original. <clears throat> I did some trading for this. Thought it was cool. Uh, Young Americans. This is the, uh, I think the 2017, <clears throat> 2017 reissue, excuse me. Bought that at Barnes & Noble. Aladdin Zane. Really cool cover here. This is the, uh, silver vinyl. Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars, the motion picture soundtrack. This is the reissue as well. Actually, I think this was always a bootleg, I think. Uh, but this is redone on 180 gram. I love the labels here. Really thick vinyl. And I went with these reissues because, uh, think about it, most of these were on Dynaflex. I don't really like the Dynaflex. I remember, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get the sleeve out. Well, okay, got it. Uh, I think the labels are pretty much the same, yeah. Well, that was a pain in the ass. I actually won, won this really, re, I think, like under 10 bucks. Uh, Bowie pinups. Uh, I think this is a early 80s repress. It has the Bowie uh, fan club thing in it. This is uh, much thicker. Not 180 gram, but not Dynaflex. Anyway, it's a little bit thicker, but still a little, it could be still Dynaflex. Mm, it doesn't say on it. <clears throat> uh, Diamond Dogs, this is original. I'm hoping for an upgrade of this. Probably just go with the re, the reissue. Uh, this is in you know, very good plus shape. I just found it for a couple bucks. At a flea market. <clears throat> um, yeah. The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust. This is an original. This is in gorgeous shape. I got this one because, well, I'll, when I get to it, I'll explain. But plus, this is a fantastic album. Uh, the Man Who Sold the World reissue. Not the. I know this one was quite. I don't know if you want to call it controversial. It has like three or four different covers. I guess this one was frowned upon because he's in drag. I think this is supposed to look like a uh, Mercury label. I like what they did there. Stuck the bully inside like the... Uh... I just love these reissues. They just sound so amazing. <clears throat> um, starting Point. London Collector's Edition. I think they did a bunch of artists in these. This is pretty much like his early like 
Darum stuff. Don't really like the sound quality of that. Punky Dory, which is another one of my favorites, as probably most people. This is the uh, reissue. I do want the original of this one. It's just they're, they're pricey. Uh, David Bowie, Space Oddity. I think there was a couple different covers of this. This is the American, obviously. It has the original sleeve. It is on RCA. Really nice shape. And uh, I was happy because you never see this one with the poster. And uh, <clears throat> someone did a fantastic job not pinning it up. Just kind of left it with the record. I'd love to frame this at some point. Kind of like one of my favorites out of the uh, out of my bullies, just because there's no ring wear, nothing. This is just like a perfect copy, and I can't believe nobody else bid on this this gem. Great album. I won this one sealed. I think I have the Beatles on this type of set it's through Decca. Can't remember. I think it's made in Italy. I think. Well, anyway, this is kind of more of that uh, early stuff. I really like the label. Um, I think it says on here. I want to say it's Italian. Cool deco label there. Nice rice paper sleeve. Now, if you don't have this one, eBay has a seller has it for nine under ten bucks for with free shipping. So uh, pick this one up. It's an okay listen. Some more early stuff, as it says, nineteen sixty six here. <clears throat> but if you're a big Bowie fan, it's good price. Um, this is, I think this was a record store day too. Darum Records here. There's a mono and stereo. It's just a really cool replica of the original. And the model's in blue. Really pretty blue. And I like this album. If I could score an original, that would be cool. And uh, the stereo is a really bright red. Really cool. All right, so here it is. This is why the gold vinyl one has like a mispress. Uh -huh. I got this at Best Buy. My dad got it for me at Best Buy, and I can't remember if it's Star. It has one little skip in it. It's just how it was pressed. That's that's the only saw. It's a real quick little skip, but still, it uh, ruins the experience for me anyway. So, but it is strange. Um, my techniques or techniques, whatever you want to call it, turntable, it does not do that skip. But it does on every other record player. I even took this to my record shop and it did it. But it does not do it on my one upstairs. So that's interesting. Still really cool though, and that's why I got a Lad Zane. It kind of had like the silver and gold. Uh, Deal. Wow. Still got time there. Uh, I love this cover. It's Bowie Chameleon, and this is uh, Australian pressing. <coughs> Excuse me. I love like all the different uh, looks that Bowie has went through on this album, and this is just kind of like a greatest hits, like a comp album. And it's uh, on. Star Call. You can see that. But there's heroes on here. Um, 
think gold in here is on here, I think. Starman, Diamond Dogs, Breaking Glass. Beauty and the Beast. There's some good songs on here. Someone made like a homemade polyline sleeve. I hate it. I gotta replace it. Okay. Um, and original changes. Well, changes one boy. Pick that up really cheap. Uh, record store day of Let's Dance. There's a demo and. Uh, Oh, what else is on here? This is, I love this song, and, uh, in Let's Dance Live. Uh, thick vinyl, 180 gram, I think. Um, also, this album's getting re remastered. It's on pre-order on Amazon. Check it out. And this is Modern Love, live version. Uh, both, it's the same song. It must be a promo or a bootleg or something. I don't think it's a bootleg, though. Probably just like a radio station copy. I gotta redust it or we'll give it a wipe, but it's good. I've, uh, I bought this last year. Really good. <clears throat> yeah, lady was selling off her Bowie collection. I got a lot of them off of her. He's down here for a second. Okay. Uh, this is a German maxi single fashion. And my record just fell. Stay. Sorry. I don't feel like doing it over again. So there it is. Got this at my record shop. Uh, the B-side is Scream Like a Baby. This needs to be wiped too. Okay. Uh, the original Let's Dance. 12 inch single. There's a long version, and uh, Cat People, Buddy Out Fire is the B-side. I know some people think that Bowie sold out with doing Let's Dance and a few of the others, 80, like other 80s albums, but I really like them. Uh, this is a 12 inch promo of Beauty the Beast and Fame. Love this cover. Classic. Um, white label RCA. I don't know if you can see that because the sun just kind of came out which I'm surprised. You really can't see that white label. <sighs> there you go. Alright. Price a little fine there. Alright, I'm going to cut over to part two.